Hi, it's Robert Kiefer here with H2O Pro, and I'm inspecting another crawl space here and really wanted to do kind of an educational piece about uh, moisture in the crawl space because there's a lot of rumors going out there uh, from some other people uh, that are saying that they're experts, but uh, we don't believe that they really know much of what they're talking about. So they're misinforming the public as far as we're concerned. So I want to show you some of the problems with having moisture in your crawl space itself. So right here you have surface mold that's growing on the bottom of the floor joist. And hopefully the camera can show that there's a lot of surface mold on top of this beam. And it's all the floor joists here. Now this insulation's wet to the touch. And what I want to do, let me get my moisture meter here. And first we'll set this. The pin meter. So it's 16% moisture content on this framing. You can start having uh, surface mold grow. At 20%, you can have wood decaying fungi, different types of rot uh, grow and start breaking down the wood. So let's see what we have here. All right, 26%. Go over here, 22%. So we can have wood decaying fungi set in and create all kinds of structural problems. The relative humidity in here is 76%. 60% you can start having mold growth. So at 76% you see this is a very bad crawl space, right? now. One of the other things I want to show you is that we also can find out, you know, is, it, is the moisture condensating on the surface? Has it reached the dew point? Let me simply do that. Hopefully you can see this little red dot that's measuring. And you can see here that it's actually condensating on the wood itself. All right, so there. There, bottom of the floor joist, condensation, right? That's what we got. This insulation's all wet, but if you move this up, you can see that all that's clean. So it's just at the bottom of the joist itself. Let's turn around and uh, see if it's condensating up there. So the moisture is passed all the way up there. The uh, insulation is wet as you can see, starting to all fall down, lose its R value. And if you look further down here, there's no ground cover. Get my flashlight. And look at the mold growth that you see down on this floor joist. Look how black these floor joists are. Alright, there's a good chance that there's wood decaying fungi here. See all these water droplets? That's how bad the condensation is here. Three-dimensional fungal growth. This is not good. Well, that went in extremely easy. Let's uh, get that back on the right setting. Twenty-five percent right there. I tell you, this is just—you can poke through that with no problem. So it looks like wood rot's already set in on this particular uh, floor joist here. And this is probably going to need uh, some structural stabilization. It's definitely going to need to be dried out. I mean, look at the fungus mold and everything that's growing now. You have all kinds of penetrations. You see all the condensation down there on the HVAC system itself. This is a bad crawl space. 
So if you think that uh, that with all the penetrations that come from things like your plumbing and stuff that go up through the subfloor and have the crawl space under negative pressure where uh, every time the HVAC kicks on it sucks air from the crawl space into it and then also the pressure differentials that you have between the living space and the crawl space doesn't affect your indoor air quality. Uh, there's multiple, multiple building science studies and uh, Department of Energy and many others that have uh, done tests on this and have proven uh, that uh, mold will go from your crawl space or has the potential to go into your crawl space or from your crawl space and into your uh, living space and affect your indoor air quality. On top of just that, this is the structure of your entire home. Would you leave the, t the structure of your entire home sitting in water? Just so the wood can get wood logged, rot, and then eventually uh, your floors can cave in. Um, you can have all kinds of uh, damage to the drywall and the structure itself because this is actually what's holding up your house. I mean, everything's resting on this. Why in the world would you allow uh, your crawl space to stay wet like this? It needs to be closed up, it needs to be sealed, everything needs to be cleaned properly, it needs to be dried properly, you need to have a dehumidifier down here. It's a, and you also have to have a monitoring system to make sure that everything stays working and that the dehumidifier doesn't fail or uh, that something in the insulation goes wrong or a natural event or a power outage or something that could uh, allow to mold growth in, the in, in an enclosed crawl space. So you got to have the right systems. You got to hire people with the right knowledge. Uh, you got to be careful who you listen to because a lot of people will just steer you in the absolute wrong way and they don't have your best interest in mind. If you want, if you want, have any questions or concerns and you want a free evaluation of your crawl space, give the professionals at H2O Pro a call at 302-321-7077. I'll go ahead and put that number on this video. And, uh, hopefully you don't have uh, this big a problem, but you don't want to just look the other way if you haven't been in your crawl space in years and think anything's going to get better because you could take a manageable situation and make it much worse. Thank you so much for your time. H2O Pro, your water damage mold remediation professionals, your crawl space encapsulation experts. Find us on the web at waterandmoldpros.com. Have a great day everyone.